By the time they made it back to Pride Rock, the sun had begun to set over the Pride Lands. Simba gestured for the others to go ahead of him before he climbed up the rock formation. The moment he reached the top, he noticed a figure standing in the shadow of one of the boulders, one paw supported with a brace. Simba wasn't sure he could talk to his father just yet. His emotions were still too scattered after the ordeal their pride had just endured. He tried to skirt around the boulder, hoping the pretense of not seeing his father would work. But Mufasa called out to him. Simba, I need to speak to you, came his deep voice. Simba shut his eyes and took a deep breath. After a moment, he turned and headed for his father. He stopped when there was still about five feet separating them. I owe you an apology, Mufasa started. Simba's eyes widened. What? I'm sorry for not trust for not trusting in you, his father said. You were right. I never gave you a chance to be a true leader of the pride. He puffed out his chest. The truth is, I wasn't ready to give up the throne. I was forced to, and I have resented it for two years. It pains me to say this, but I have resented you, son. Simba winced, but he understood. He'd been a cub when his father first suffered his injury. But now that he was grown, he was able to fully grasp the difficulties his father must have faced. He'd been a strong, viral, comp competent leader, and in a heartbeat, his own brother had robbed him of his duty er earned position. You prepared me for to take over as leader one day, but none of us expected that day would come so soon. If I could go back in time and change it, I would, Father. But we can't, Mufasa said. It is time I accept that, he sighed. I must also accept that you were right two years ago. Scar intentionally threw me to the wildebeest that day. Father, if I had listened to you and banished Scar from this land a long time ago, the pride wouldn't have had to endure today's battle. Instead, I put all of us in danger because I didn't want to concede that you were right. It's done, Father. It's over. We defended Pride Rock, and it will stand for years to come. I will make sure of it. Mufasa nodded. I know you will. You showed us all today what a fierce protector you are, and that you are more than capable of leading this pride into the future. With an unsteady shift of his paw, he released his brace. It took Simba a moment to recognize what his father was doing. No, Simba said as Mufasa slowly bent his head in a humble bow. Yes, his father replied. I pledge my allegiance to you as the leader of our pride. The entire pride gathered around them in a semicircle. Emotion welled in Simba's throat. Maybe I have been wrong in ways too. In some ways too, he said. I've been so fixated on proving that I'm up to the task that I'm disregarding the wisdom that is right in front of me. You were right when you pointed out that neither Nala nor I have the ex kind of experience you have. He looked to his mother, who stood with Tandi and Oli, that all of you have. It is time I acknowledge that I still have lots to learn. Simba walked over to his father. He placed his paw on his father's shoulder. I would be honored if you would be at the helm of an advisory council co comprising the elders in our pride. You all still have much wisdom to pass on, and as heir to the throne, it is my duty to learn as much as I can for the sake of our pride. Mufasa, Mufasa nodded, and that, my son, is the sign of a fine leader. His father gestured to the outcropping that pro protruded from the front of the pride rock. Go and take your rightful place, Mufasa said. Simba stood up proudly, his chest thrust forward and his head held high. Slowly, he walked toward the ledge. One by one, each member of their pride bowed in deference. As he reached the edge of the outcropping, Simba surveyed the vast pride lands marveling at the kingdom laid out before him. He was exactly where he was meant to be. He was home. He stood with and for his pride, all of them, even, or maybe especially, 
the lions who would disagree with him, and he would help usher them all into a new dawn. And that is the end of A Twisted Tale Anthology, A New Dawn. I hope to see you next time on our next Twisted Tale Anthology adventures. See you real soon.